Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be talking about how water temperature can have a big impact on our African cichlids behaviour in regards to breeding uh, and also aggression. Now a lot of people have uh, been asking me how is your tank so calm? Yes I have selected uh, different types of breeds of Mbuna to basically to reduce uh, the amount of aggression as much as possible. But the little trick that I use has to do with water temperature. So stay tuned to the video and hopefully you might learn something and pick up something along the way uh, that might benefit you and your tank. So what temperature should our water be? Basically you need to take into consideration where the fish have come from. Basically if they are tank bred or F1 or wild caught, you need to speak to the people that have bred them. Uh, this will sort of give you an indication of what sort of temperature your tank should be at. Now if you look at the, the temperature at Lake Malawi for instance, uh, they have a surface temperature of between 24 degrees Celsius to 29 degrees Celsius. And for the purpose of this video I'll do it in degrees Celsius but on the screen when I can I'll also put it into Fahrenheit to help the people that are not from the UK or people who use Fahrenheit instead of degrees Celsius. Now at deeper depths in Lake Malawi, the temperature can drop to as low as 20 degrees Celsius. Now most of you watching this will probably understand uh, that higher temperatures in our aquarium is going to encourage a lot more aggression, but can also trigger a lot more breeding activity. Basically, higher in the temperature of your tank will speed up the metabolism of the fish, thus resulting in a bit more aggression in the aquarium, but also hungrier fish. The faster that metabolism is going in your fish, basically the quicker they can digest their food. Depending again if you're keeping Mbuna, Lake Tanganyikans, Lake Victorians, Haps or Amlakara. In my aquarium, the little tip that I can give you guys in this video is I keep my temperature and my water at 24 degrees Celsius. No higher, no lower. I'm constantly adjusting. Uh, when the weather either gets warmer in the UK or actually gets a bit bit lower during the winter periods So when it comes to setting my heaters in my tank I either set it a bit higher in the cooler periods and a bit lower in the warmer periods I know people all around the world will probably be struggling because they're in a bit warmer client climate than us in the UK or obviously you could be in a place where it's freezing all year round so you just take that into consideration when it comes to adjusting the heating on your tank. So other things to take into consideration if you want a tank full of um, breeding activity you're probably best off increasing the temperature of your tank ever so slightly but you do this gradually and over a set amount of time. If you go straight away and increase the temperature say about 4 degrees Celsius or 5 degrees Celsius overnight it could have a problem in your tank. So you need to set the temperature slightly, increments, and monitor your fish and behaviour. Now in previous videos, just for example my uh, breeding tips video, I talked about doing cold water water changes that sort of triggers the fish to breed. Just like in Lake Malawi through the dry periods uh, and then a big downpour of rain, it might sort of uh, lower the temperature ever so slightly to a certain depth in the lake. But another thing we've got to take into, into consideration is these fish are in a confined space. So if you are increasing the temperature and you're increasing the aggression in the fish, you're also going to run into problems that these fish haven't got much of an area to get away. And take it into consideration again about hiding places, etc, etc. But when it comes to having more of a placid tank, a more relaxed tank, I find that keeping my tank at 24 degrees Celsius is ample. As you can see behind me, yeah, they will chase each other. There is a few fish with some fin problems at the moment. I have a full, uh, full of bony eye female with some slight damage to her fin now, but I've treated the tank and she's on the mend. So to conclude, if you want a nice relaxed tank, try and keep the temperature low, but not too low. I wouldn't go any lower than 23 degrees Celsius. But remember that's over a long period. You reduce the temperature ever so slightly and gradually monitor your tank. If you want to try it a bit higher and see if you can trigger some more breeding behaviour, again you do it slowly, gradually over time, monitoring your tank. Now remember when you're increasing the temperature of your tank, these fish are going to get hungrier because their metabolism 
rate basically is going through the roof. So I take that into consideration as well. So I hope this video has been helpful. Please feel free to check out my other videos on my How To African Cichlid playlist. I'm also doing some more videos uh, at the moment, basically, around the hobby. Uh, and later on in the year, you'll get to see some videos of me out on the lake, which I cannot wait for. So as always, guys and ladies, I appreciate you watching my videos. And thank you for the support. Until next time, take care.